Okay. So I'm just going to connect to something right now. Let's see. So, so this is our FTP server, blah, blah, blah. Now, when you're using a Mac, let's say you're trying to find some files and you're using your basically FTP as your cloud. That's what I use it for. Um, and let's just say you want to, you find a nice like uh, article you want to save or you, you find a nice file or you're working on something on a document and you just want to upload it to uh, your cloud. But guess what? If you try to upload something to your FTP, what happens? You're not allowed to. I don't know why Apple doesn't make Finder able to, you know, put files into FTP um, servers. I mean, that's what FTP is for, is so you can access your files anywhere, like a cloud, like a flash drive, except you, you don't even have to carry anything with you. But, you know, it doesn't work like that. So, you know, I, I was caught with this problem in the middle of, you know, school, and... You know, I was, I mean, I can't stop working because I, I can't get my files or I can't upload my files, so I started looking around the um, terminal and I'm like, well, if I can access the FTP, you know, in here, there has to be a way for me to upload my files. And, okay, so sure enough, okay, so there's too many users connected. It's basically, um, the the user that's connected right now it's me it's on this thing so I gotta disconnect to using this but you you got you got the point right like you couldn't put files onto the FTP using Finder and you you would hope that, that it would work but it doesn't so we're just gonna kick this thing off so now that thing is off and we're gonna try to reconnect Okay, now we're logged on. So. so now we go into our our folder that we wanted to upload the file on. Change the local directory to your desktop because that's where our file is. Now you don't have to change it. You know, just change it to wherever your your file is. To make it easy, I put everything. I put it on the desktop just for this example, so you guys can see. So, so this is this was the file we wanted to throw into our FTP, but that you know Finder wouldn't let us do that. So we can do it here. So we just go put ex example that's in you know just press tab and look, see it uploaded. So so now if we go if we list our directory. You see, there's a folder example that send in there, and okay. So now let's quit out of here. Oops, and then go back in to the server. You know, the one we just were we were in before. Okay, now I got to re log in and everything. But you should see that in the writing folder. Okay, now it has nothing in here. Here's a file that we just tried to that we tried to put in earlier, but Finder wouldn't let us do it. See, it still doesn't let us do it. And the only way I was able to do it is through terminal. See, you didn't need like when I was in, uh, working. <laughs> you know, things were going through my head. Like I, I was like, now I'm gonna have to go download FileZilla and then do all these little, you know, get these stupid apps for it to work. But you know, you can do it in here you can do it in the terminal. Now, if you're on Windows, same story, except Windows Explorer is, is awesome in the way that, like, you can basically upload anything you want using Windows Explorer. It's perfect. But if you're on a Mac, you know, Finder doesn't let you do it, but you can do it in terminal. Likewise, you can also do it in command prompt on the computer. I, I mean, on the PC. It's the same thing. You there are, There's almost nothing different about it. It's the same thing, except on the Mac, you have to use the terminal because there's no other way of doing it without using the terminal that I know of at this point. So that's how you upload files to FTP on a Mac without downloading anything new. That's how you do it.